It's just a live action role play, guys. Everyone go home. It's all set. <laughs> when you think about what Robert Bennett was talking about on Witcher Show, you know, when his onslaught on relativity, with the experiments that he brought up that tried to prove relativity but always failed and mysteriously worked and you accounted for a stationary earth in a rotating ether and when all the measurements would always come back to oh well in the lab frame we can measure it and then we can translate it to other reference frame coordinate systems but it always comes back to like beta prime with the original reference frame the only one that matters for stationary earth frame and that served as an insurmountable barrier for furthering heliocentric lore mathematically and scientifically for a while until einstein comes along right and when you think about it the ramification of that E equals MC squared, it's astounding. If lab frame has always been fixed and at the center, no measurement can be made outside of this until Einstein made it so all frames are equal. This is devastating to like rationality and the progression of where we were going and essential to their obfuscation and then deviation down nonsense road. By saying mass is energy, energy is mass, he invented the coordinate system transforms that would obscure truth later and be used to do the coordinate systems and the uh, obfuscation of true coordinates in the satellites. And then they had to adopt the Lorentz contraction to explain the excess when converting between back and forth and the coordinate systems between ECF and ECI. Because in reality, you can only make measurements in the lab frame, which can never move. So even when you mathematically describe how you can translate the measurements in the lab frame to different lab frames using E equals FC squared, it's kind of like a backhand way. He simultaneously Spontaneously invented not only the send science down the system of relativism, but a system of relativism that leaked from math, like into science, and then philosophy, and then religion, and then eventually morality. The most devastating hit is like that literally led to moral relativism peering into every aspect of human reality, and was probably the biggest stride forward towards the mathematical construction of a world of heliocentricity that there ever was.